Okay, so I'm mixing up on my palette a range of values, starting with white, and then I've mixed up a light gray, and then I'm going to take the light gray, mix that with the black, get a darker gray. So we're just, we're making our grays by mixing black and white. I did the achromatic demo once and mixed up the values in advance and started talking about what we were going to do with the painting. And then one of my students panicked and said, you didn't tell us to buy gray. Um, and I had to say, no, we're making the gray. So the, the values of the light gray is going to look something like this. So that's a mid to light. I might, if I want, I could make that a little bit lighter. So let, let's do that. Let's make it a little bit lighter. Notice though how I've arranged my, my grays. It's always good to have your either your colors or your values laid out in a logical way so that you can do what I'm doing now. And it's good to have them along the edge of the, uh, of the palette so that you have all this area to do any you know mixing that you're going to need to have. So you can see that that would be a lighter gray. So this is more of a middle gray that's a lighter gray. So I think that's the gray that I'm going to be using for the light. And then for the darker gray, I'm going to be using that. And then you can compare that to what the black looks like. not going to really show up, but there's, there's the white, okay? So that's how we're going to be mixing up. To start, you're really only going to need to have the white, the light gray, the dark gray, the black, okay, on your palette. And then we will be um, blending those things and making multiple values as we paint on the actual painting, okay? Um, so simple enough, all right?